Hi, I'm Simon Rasniewski and I'm presenting our paper Joint Reasoning for Multifaceted Common Sense Knowledge. Common Sense Knowledge Bases or CSKBs or structured knowledge about general world concepts like that lions eat chicken, that they attack humans or that they drink water. And CSKBs are an area of major attention in automated or manual knowledge base construction in recent years. Some popular projects being ConceptNet, TopoGB or Quasimodo. The existing works mostly come with two shortcomings. So first, they have an underspecified or narrow semantics for their content. And second, the statements inside them are typically extracted and consolidated independently of each other. And I'll show next what I mean with these two. So first, let's look at semantics. Consider these three statements, lions eat chicken, attack humans, and drink water. Can you say what these statements really mean? Well, existing works take different stances on statement semantics. So Tuple, Kibi, and Webchild talk about plausibility. So they state a statement inside their common sense knowledge base means it's at least plausible for some subjects. ConceptNet implicitly talks about typicality. So this should be typical. Asimodo talks about salience. It aims to collect statements that humans spontaneously, spontaneously associate with concepts. And if you go to information theory, then uh, remarkability or entropy is what characterizes a concept. So we are in a situation where we have different competing standards and we need a way to unify them into one. And that's exactly what we did. So like this four-sided die, so we say that each statement has four facets, possibility, typicality, remarkability, and salience. And for example, lions eating chicken is a plausible thing, but it's not quite a typical nor what comes spontaneously to the mind of a human, so it's not salient. Lions attacking human is salient, and it's also plausible, but it's not quite typical, so most lions never attack any human. And lions drinking water is possible and typical, but not quite salient. And so in the second shortcoming, so isolated statement treatment means um, if we collect evidence for each candidate independently, then the resulting CSKBs are often incoherent and sparse we don't have enough observations or possible statements. Our approach is to perform joint reasoning over all candidate statements. So in particular, we exploit taxonomical relations. So if lions are big cats and big cats eat meat, then it makes sense that also lions eat meat. Or if lions live in prides, but their taxonomic siblings, tigers and leopards don't, then it's presumably salient that lions do live in prides. We exploit statements, statement similarity. So if lions hunt antelopes, it's sensible that they also eat them. Or if elephants can dive, they probably can also swim. And we couple the facets. So if a statement is salient, it should be at least plausible, and possibly also remarkable. And if something is typical for several taxonomic siblings, then it's less likely that it's salient for any one of them. This way, we can ensure coherence of the resulting statements, and we can combat sparsity. So we encode uh, this constraint system into a Maxat problem, which we efficiently solve via an integer linear program. And in our experiments, um, we uh, compare the ranking ability of our resulting scores with the existing unidimensional scores inside existing uh, common sense knowledge bases. And we find that we outperform them by 8 to 16 points, uh, percentage points in pairwise statement preference. So for example, we ask a human whether it's more typical that lions drink water or kill humans, and then we see whether the scores in the knowledge base are reflected. You can inspect uh, the constraint systems and the resulting statements at dice.mpi-inf.mpg.de. And I thank you for your attention and look forward to your comments.